So now this is going to be another quick video of a uh, simple circuit fragment here. So we got a resistor there that's 2,200 ohms. This is a JFET end channel depletion mode JFET. It's the J310. I got it from the Joe Knows Electronic Semiconductor Kit. You don't get a lot of them, but for uh, how expensive they are, that seems to be the best deal right now. So in any case, flat sides to the left, top pin is drain, middle pin is source, and bottom pin is gate. Ultimately, the gate sets how well the uh, source and the drain conduct based on the uh, voltage differences between the source and the gate. So we got the uh, resistor there. The current flows through a drain to a source right there. But in any case, we're going to keep this video simple. Those are all uh, topics to uh, study about in more detail. Rintech. So we're setting the meter to milliamps. If you have a meter with numbers, you set it to a number higher than you can expect to measure. And we got the red probe where it says uh, milliamps right there. We don't have to move it for this meter. So the way we have this wired up, JFETs make uh, good current sources. Their limitations vary by the uh, particular component you're using. We're using the J310. And with the resistor that I have, 2200 ohms, we got 1.2 milliamps of current. So I could go up a little bit in resistance in some way to lower that a little bit. But in any case, what's important here is we're going to put a red LED now in series. So usually when you add a component in series, it drops some voltage and you end up with less uh, current. If it's an LED, they have uh, their diodes, they have a voltage drop. But there you can see we got the same current, even though we added another a series component. And I'll move that over so you can see the display a little easier. And again, we're going to add another LED here. And the power supply is set to nine volts. Yeah, let me make sure I check that. Nine volts. So you need to have enough voltage too. Remember, uh, these two LEDs are gonna drop about five volts. That's leaving about five volts for the transistor to deal with. And, uh, or four volts for the transistor to deal with. And there you can see, current went down a, a tiny bit, but we added a lot more uh, voltage drop. And uh, so we added a considerable amount more to the load, but the current held pretty close to the same. So it's a current source. That's all I really see JFETs being used somewhere in a circuit as a current source. And uh, so that's uh, the only demonstration I really have for them. But in any case, keeping this simple as I said before, thanks for watching. Make sure you turn the multimeter off. Check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.